Hey there! Uh, today's project would be making this uh, little Bluetooth speaker into a Bluetooth receiver because I order a proper Bluetooth receiver that never actually came. It was two months and they just decided to refund me. Uh, but I still need this and I want to uh, use uh, my other non-Bluetooth headphones with a simple jack. So I will be putting a jack socket into this and hopefully, uh, well, the goal of this isn't actually to have this uh, stereo because what I often would use this for is just to listen to some podcasts which are uh, usually downplayed to mono even though uh, they, the original sound would be uh, stereo. This won't be used as a, to listen to the music generally, so uh, the quality isn't really a that much factor. I just want to uh, convert this and I was uh, looking at the speaker some time ago, as you can see here. Uh, I already uh, disassembled it for a previous video and it's a pretty standard speaker and there's a Bluetooth antenna, here's a, I think a charging chip, not sure about that. That's the main button. Here's a microphone, which is, uh, well, it, it's cool. And uh, the, the, the only thing I want to do is remove the speaker and just put uh, uh, an audio jack instead of it, but just to make sure that I won't be using the, yeah, here it is. So there is there is much more space here in the back than it's uh, that it appears to be after a close inspection because there is a lot of space inside and I, I actually I'm not exactly that bent on removing the original speaker I would just like to disable disable it I will probably put a switch over here when I outline the hole and on this side I will put a jack socket so once this uh, this is disabled it, it will also output uh, I mean it will constantly up to output on the jack socket and but also uh, this switch will simply disable the speaker so I could put this switch in line to the uh, let's say red cable but because that's probably not the ground so black is probably the ground and yeah let, let's let me try to uh, enlarge this hole uh, so I can uh, put the the switch in because that, that would keep it, the speaker working as it was before uh, once this this is enabled and this will just allow me to add the, uh, the, the audio jack and I will probably will uh, do a friction fit on this uh, on this side and glue this down on this uh, fr from the back on this side so it will all come together this is uh, long enough so it will be comfortable to switch this even though it, it will be pressed against the, uh, the plastic cover here. I have some basic holes, uh, that's for the jack, that's for the switch. I will have to work out how to deal with them later on. I will probably have to send them out to uh, for them to look a little bit prettier, I disconnected the uh, the one of the cables from the speaker that's probably a plus and the black one is probably a ground. The next thing to do is find out uh, where can I connect the, the the actual jack itself. Hopefully there will be a stereo, but uh, probably not because this is this isn't meant for the stereo sound uh, and. Uh, and uh, let's see, uh, what, what I will do right now is uh, I took a, oh, hold on, I took a, a part of a headset, all headset, uh, with a cable cut off and I will connect the uh, ground from that uh, little uh, um, part of the headset, so that little speaker over here, uh, to the minus of the board and I will look around using the, uh, let's call it plus, and uh, see where I will get a signal uh, of the audio. So let me just do that real quickly. Mm -hmm. 
I have the Bluetooth speaker connected, and uh, since I made this uh, little this other connection a bit longer, I will be able to easily probe around on the board to see uh, where is the sound coming from, which part of the board, because it it isn't obvious from the design. I obviously could connect it directly to the speaker output. Uh, but th that's really loud. I want to find another place and uh, Because this is a low power speaker generally speaking uh, It won't blow my ears off and even if I connect this to the plus of the battery It will just pop uh, the uh, the headphone and what won't hurt me at all and I can just easily uh, probe around like this so I will know exactly where the sound is non non amplified sound is coming from as it turns out it was a bit of waste of time to try to probe things around because this is the amplification chip and it's XPT9302 uh, those are the inputs those two uh, at the bottom here let me try and show you uh, those two below, uh, these are the inputs and uh, this and this is the output. And I just reverse the uh, where the speaker is connected and it also requires a capacitor and resistor uh, on the input which are here and I will try to find the place where those are connected. I see some unpopulated uh, areas uh, on this part of the board and over here and this may uh, this may prove to be stereo chip. We will see about it. I will try to trace those two and connect uh, my uh, test probe there. After probing around and looking uh, in this region, uh, I figure out this is ground overall ground, and it is connected uh, up to here. And this uh, this would be the one of the channels, but they are combined, uh, basically joined using those elements and what actually happens is uh, the right channel is on here and the left channel is on here if uh, and uh, what's interesting uh, I'm looking at the, the direct feed from the chip so I will be probably connecting directly to here uh, if I connect it to here I will get a bit uh, quieter signal still audible and, and all a bit uh, I will be using those uh, the, this uh, with various uh, headphones, so I just want to have a proper volume that could can be still uh, changed from the phone side, and so I will be connecting directly to here and putting this as, as an output. This output from from here is directly from the chip itself and. It has a bit of uh, noise there, uh, so after smoothing and using those capacitors too, uh, it, it, it w would be a um, bit more pleasant, but I'm looking for a bit more louder output because I will be using that on the street. Here I am basically done. I tested already the uh, the jack over here and also uh, the, the switch here and it works perfectly. Uh, let me play some uh, some sample sound. If I... Yeah, as you can see the switch works and, and the jack works also so that there is a stereo sound actually so that this is really good result the only thing that remains is put this back together uh, well the holes aren't that great but I will try to somehow jam it inside
also it didn't actually pan out as I expected but overall it works it just isn't really pretty uh, but did the switch works and the uh, the headphone socket to let me uh, bring the headset headset uh, a little bit closer to you that's the left only that's the right and uh, so yeah there is actually stereo sound from this little speaker even though they uh, changed it back to the mono it barely holds together right now I had to replace the original jack I wanted to use the green one with this black one but uh, well I guess until my uh, order will come again uh, I will have to use this one thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and you learned something about the you know finding the signals and stuff on, on small smaller circuitry what you normally use would be um, maybe oscilloscope to, to, to see how does this all work but overall I, I guess that's it for now thank you for watching bye guys